Wise. I learned a lot from him. That's all I need to say. Very wise. Amen. Give the choir a hand as they come. They'll sing the first and the last word. Then after that, we'll stand and receive the preacher. For the life of Sister Lois. God has been good to her. I have to give this testimony and then we will occupy the rest of the time. This family has been an important part of my life for over 58 years. Without revealing Jackie age, Jackie was two. <laughs> yeah, Jackie, we get an old girl. In fact, Minister O'Kell, Sister Lloyd's husband, was my best man at my first wedding. 
His daughter Anime is my godchild. It's because of this family love and care and godly devotion and commitment that I am what I am. Some of the greatest times of my young Christian development was with the Williams family. You see, those days, prophecy was prophecy. <laughs> if you had grits, I had grits, brother Bo. Ferguson, if you got one, one, one Cooper or one, one Grant, I get pizza. They were the days when prophecy had all things on. The Holy Ghost moved like magnet. Holy Ghost in the pulpit. Holy Ghost in the pew. Pray for me, I'm a hit and run. Those days you couldn't see from the inside out from people at the windows wondering what's going on. The church was on fire. From host to host, from 8 p.m. up in the evening to 3 and 2 o'clock in the morning in Bible study. And 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, we was in church for primming. 9 a.m., Sunday school. That's not like prophecy. 11 a.m., service. 3 p.m., oh, you know, you know, you know. Those of us who come from the old school and brother Shane, we long for those days. Lois was an angel in a human body. I need to tell you that again. Lois was an angel in human body. A woman of grace and purity. Woman of compassion and love. A woman greatly to be praised. And I like this part. She was a pastor's delight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got some folks, you got a pastor, you got to pray hard. And you know, yeah. <laughs> Bishop Roy City, I spent sleep this night, Bishop Roy. You better tell me amen, because you know that's the truth. <laughs> Our God was faithful to her. Cut some of the short in the interest of time. He satisfied her with long life. And showed her his salvation. He gave us one, he gave her one of the greatest family on this planet. And I'm gonna ask this church to stand and give this family. They took real good care of their mother. Come on, congregation, let's stand and give them a round of applause. Thank you, Shane, thank you, Jackie, all of the children, grandchildren. Thank you. On the evening that I received a call that Lois has gone on to be with the Lord, and then the thing about it, I talked to line, Lois, Brother Bo, I told her I was the only person she used to call Bo, you know. <laughs> and she called the host, she asked my wife where that boy is. <laughs> In my time of mourning or weeping after I heard the news, I was kind of broken up. And 
my time of grieving, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and gave me a topic. In fact, it was confirming my spirit right there and then that I would be the declarer of the word today. God is a faithful God. And he moved in a mysterious way. And so our text comes to us this morning from Numbers 23, one verse. And he said unto Bela, stand here by the burnt offering while I meet the Lord over yonder. And so today we're going to hear from the Lord for the next 10, 15 minutes on a topic over yonder. Yonder in the context of this text means another place. Or there 